Ibrahim Hassouna picks through the rubble of his rented home in Rafah, where his entire family were killed in an Israeli airstrike early Monday morning. Eight members of Hassouna's family from three generations were killed. He escaped only because he had been visiting friends. As you can see, we used to sleep next to each other. It's a small place. The targeting was direct. We found them torn apart. They were directly targeted killed in cold blood, with no mercy. Hassouna's family had been renting the house for the past month after a series of moves to flee the fighting in northern Gaza. More than half of Gaza's population of two million is now crammed into the town of Rafa. In this maternity hospital, the situation is desperate, with children facing a fight for survival from their very first moments. Most of the cases we get now involve infections including gastrointestinal and respiratory infections. These are largely because of the adverse weather conditions children endure in tents and shelters as well as the lack of formula, healthy milk and clean water. Because most of the children only get poorly prepared formula and some children may not find milk at all, leading their families to feed them whatever is available. The Israeli military on Tuesday released underground surveillance video that they say shows Hamas leader in Gaza, Yahya Sinwar, fleeing in Khan Yunus. An army spokesman called Sinwar the mastermind of the October 7th attack and laid the blame for the current war at his door. While the people of Gaza are suffering above ground, Sinwar is hiding in tunnels underground underneath them, running like the coward that he is. But Israel will not be granting Gazans any respite just yet. Qatari broker talks for a temporary ceasefire have stalled because Israel says Hamas's demands in a planned hostage for prisoner exchange are excessive.